Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini. Hey Gemini, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with their energy. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to jump into your reading. I'll pull a couple of cards. This is not going to take too long, you know. Hopefully it won't, but sometimes they do. All right, so let's see what we're going on. Right off the bat, guys, one of the good things I see about this reading is that you guys actually end up having some kind of a spiritual breakthrough. If this hasn't happened for you, you might be in the midst of it. I feel like with you guys, there's been some cycles that have gone on. Cycles where I feel like maybe sometimes you're like, I, I, I learned from that last lesson, but you kind of didn't. So now I feel like there's been some deep learning and I feel like you guys are going to have a spiritual breakthrough. I feel like with the Four of Wands, you guys are in a, a way where you're reaping rewards of hard work put in. You're enjoying your achievements. All right. Your money is looking pretty decent. Um, and in the midst of this whole thing, I kind of feel like with you guys, there's some development that happens in the middle of this. Right. I feel like you guys start to grow. And then that's when the cycles really start to change. Because I feel, I feel like you guys are professionals or whoever I'm talking to, whatever this is. Some of you guys could work with the community. Some of you guys could be researchers. It's something that involves really deep analytical work where you may not just be doing something with paper, but you may also be dealing directly with people, right? Or in some situation where it requires you to be mentally strong. And I do see that with you guys here, all right? So again, you're on the verge of something. <clears throat> I feel like in this case, you're on the verge of not only being able to master how you do things in business, how you do things at work, whatever this is for you, but I feel like there's some personal situation that you guys have to deal with. And I feel like it's going to require that same mental energy, right? That you guys are able to give to this situation or that situation. There's a situation, like, I don't know if this has happened yet, but there's some situation that's going to require some kind of deep mental analytical thinking and it's gonna provide some kind of clarity for you i think this again has to do with self-development because it talks about you guys being able to kind of express yourself all right and it's going to be the end of some sort of a cycle within is what i'm feeling i have the three of wands here for you guys this card talks about a couple of different things going on now there are some positive things going on like i said to you guys but there's also something going on with business because i feel like when it comes to to relationships with family or how your feelings about family uh independence what you have to offer to the world i feel like you guys are in good shape with that but i also feel like you guys have a ton more goals that you want to explore right things that you want to do so i feel like there's a situation having to do with an enterprise right where it's going to require you guys to be confident about some matter when you guys are confident you're going to realize whatever this venture is is going to draw people to you like people are going to start asking you questions uh people are going to be interested in whatever it is you're doing whatever you have to offer right so what i'm getting is not only should it be confidence but you should also be approachable and whatever this is i feel like you guys are dealing with people i see boats coming in no really guys i see boats coming in like they're all coming towards you like seriously but also we do have this thing here with delays right now there are going to be delays with some kind of goal like i said you guys have probably um made some some great steps like achievements like some serious achievements but i feel like that's not it for you i feel like you're going to go for the ceiling or whatever it is the sky the height the skies or whatever so I feel like you guys, your boats are coming in because I feel like whatever it is you're doing, you've achieved success and you're like, I want to grow. So this is really about growth. It's about mental work. I feel like because there are delays, it's going to require you energy wise to understand that there are some, something is going to change very soon for you guys. Right. And I think you feel it. So you just have to accept that this is going to happen. It just might take a little bit longer than you want, but is going to require you to that mental work where you know I can't say nothing, I can't say nothing, or I can't do anything, I can only say, you know, kind of stuck in one of those situations. So I feel like something that you have to endure before you get to this whole thing of uh, the success, the positivity, the confidence, the business growing, you guys are going to do a great job in business. This is going to happen for you. All right, so let's take a look and see what else could be going here. Now, delays with goals. You need to understand that with the Six of Wands reverse, this is something that you guys don't have any control over. All right, so 
you've done the work. I see where you've done the work. Now you just got to wait it out. And that's the hardest part, the waiting, the waiting, the waiting for the, the ships to come in, right? But while this is happening, I feel like there's some success in some area, but I do feel like this could be after a time at one point. I don't know when this was, but I feel like some there could have been an interruption or a betrayal. Like somebody could have promised you something with affairs of the heart or business, I feel like it's an idea. Somebody may have been betrayed about an idea that they had or something. Maybe this happened in the past. That's what I'm getting. I don't do time, so whatever this is to you. But I feel like some of you guys may, be in, uh, may have been betrayed in a situation. It could be affairs at heart. But for some reason, I'm feeling like this has to do with business. Somebody not doing their part or something. Or somebody may be backing out. Um, yeah, so you guys might be feeling frustrated over that. Or this is, could be how you feel after when you... When you get to the second level or third level, whatever level of success it is for you, this might be a third level, um, I feel like you guys are going to put everything kind of into perspective and say, I had to go through that in order to get to this. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Let me see what I have for love. Okay. Ooh. Because I don't, you know, I see that there's definitely some relaxing. There's some, you know, happiness, achievements. This talks about you and family being at one, but I feel like there was a time maybe where you guys were not at one. All right. So let's take a look and see what's going on with love. Tell me about Gemini and love, please. Tell me about Gemini and love. I see you guys are taking some kind of authority. Mm. Okay. Also, healing family issues. I feel like this could um, be something that you're striving towards. I feel like some of you guys need to get your situation right. I think hopefully your next thing would be healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Whatever happened, you have to forgive. Let's see. Whatever happens. It's just... Listen, when it comes to self-work, whatever, whatever works for you. So you don't have to do anything. Uh, I can only suggest you do what's right i don't know whatever's right for you anyway children your love life is being affected by children yep okay healing family issues something having to do with children there's some relationships it could be give me one more hmm. go ahead and make the romantic gesture children yeah okay give me one more give me one more please romantic feelings it's hmm. all reversed um, all right, I'm going to look at these. Healing family issues. I feel like there are delays with that. This is an opportunity. Something needs to be done. Something having to do with children. I feel like for some of you guys, maybe you haven't been speaking to your children or you're not able to express love the way you want to. Or maybe your children are telling you you don't express love the way they need you to. Listen to your kids. Side note, just saying. Romantic feelings. I feel like... I feel like some of you guys, I feel like you're putting this on hold. Romantic feelings. Does this have to do with a partner? Give me one second. Hold on, guys. Retreat. Mm -hmm. Retreats. Time to disconnect from a word from the word. You disconnected from somebody romantically. Okay. Retreat. Romantic feelings. I feel like you guys are questioning whether or not this is the right time for you to get into anything with affairs of the heart. That's what I'm getting. I feel like that because it looks like you're taking a break. So, or you're coming out of taking a break. I don't feel like you, I feel like you're deciding this retreat card to me feels like I'm taking time to figure out what I want to do about all this that's going on. I feel like there are some things that are in place for you, but I also feel like there are things that are coming in for you. I feel like this part of your life, from what I see, uh, appears to be settled, but Four of Wands talks about, if we really look at it, it's homecoming, celebrations, family, reunions, friends, right? So I feel like some of you guys have been away from your family. I don't feel like everybody's uh, been right there. Some of your family could be far away. Again, we have water. I see deserts and hills. So this, there could be some distance here. Safe for me to love is a shape for me to express myself. Retreat, should I go back? Romantic feelings, should I express them? My children, family issues. Ugh, give me one more. Of what we have here. Do you have one card? This is a solution. A wedding. Yeah, this is a spouse. This situation involves marriage. Some of you guys are uh, deciding whether or not you want to uh, 
go back to a marriage or if you want to have that wedding or whatever whatever this means to you i don't know the whole story so uh let's see what else we have Ooh. you know what i do want to pull let me pull a couple of these now uh, granted color wise <laughs> it'll be a little off but whatever let's take a look and see what messages we have for you gemini because i'm kind of Help me understand love. Give me something to kind of clear this up. Help me understand what's going on with love or whatever messages you have for me, please. Whatever messages you need for me to give Gemini. All right. I feel like they want to. I'm not going to. All right. All right. There we go. Gemini, what do we have? Travel. Oh, my goodness. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Yup, these cards do talk about a lot in career. It does talk about um, communication. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Express yourself. One more. Love. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Some of you guys might be proposing or somebody's going to propose to you. This energy... Down here could just mean that you guys want to, you're thinking about this situation and how maybe how maybe there's some things that need to heal before you take this step with this or, you know, with this step, the next level with somebody or going back into a situation, society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody. And some of you guys do have those. I see the opportunities coming in. Like, I see the opportunities coming in. That's awesome. Uh, I see love coming in if you want to, if you actually want to deal with it. It looks like it's in the air. You're thinking about it. But ultimately, it looks like you're thinking about a wedding, a union. Now, this could be your marriage or it could be uh, somebody that you want to propose to. Whatever this is for you. Let me see what advice I have for you. Which cards? Let me just pull these. All right. Give me a couple of cards. Let me shuffle these again. Ooh. Give me a card for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, please? What does Gemini need to know? These cards, really. See, they're beautiful, but that's why I don't use them. There's something about the card stock that looks nice, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Give me something. Give me a message for Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know? Ooh, okay. Well. The child within, inner mother, innocence, gentleness, tenderness. The child within, inner mother. Give me one more. After the rain, silver lining, relief, hope, mercy. It's over. Acceptance. Hold on. Codes of the seeds. The blueprint is within you. Take the next step. How do I want to, the mother innocence, gentleness, tenderness, silver lining, relief, oh my goodness, acceptance. Some of you guys are accepting that a situation could be over. All these cards came out upright. So, you know, maybe, I'm not sure what this is. I did ask for advice. Innocence, gentleness, tenderness, the child within, after the rain. Relief, hope, mercy, it's over, acceptance. I feel like this is, the blueprint is within you, take the next step. I feel like you guys need to handle whatever situation this is with tenderness and gentleness. You know, whatever this means to you. This one, I'm lost. I get some of it, but, you know, only somebody, this would mean something to maybe you guys, I mean. All right, so take that as a separate story. Take it however you guys want to take it. Let me just pull one of these. Kind of. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I think if you guys are going to take that step. To, let's take a look. Whew. Give me a card for Gemini, please. Give me a card for Gemini, please. Give me something good for them. Not that this is bad. I don't think this is bad, but I feel like you guys are... Making a, a big decision about something. I feel like I feel like this could be a combination of things. I feel like there are some things 
that could be outstanding for you guys before you get to this point with somebody or this could be your current situation meaning I have to fix all of these things going on back here in order to achieve this with you all right which is the marriage card the wedding this wedding right or some of you guys know somebody is uh I mean, she looking at him like, mm -hmm, we're gonna go. <laughs> okay, anyway. Give me a card for Gemini, please. Give me a card for Gemini. Card for Gemini. Oh, there you go. Rosemary, clarity. We did talk about clarity in this reading. Who are you? Really? Rosemary infuses the body with warmth and vitality, bringing security and clarity to the spirit, especially when it, was, when it has lost connection to the physical world. Rosemary helps you feel fully embodied and grounded so that you are better, better able to remember who you truly are. Yeah, I see that you guys were going within and trying to figure out who you want to be as you develop yourself going forward. Give me one more. I just feel like we need one more. Because I do see, I see the clarity part about that. Stargazer. Why do these cards, you know, honestly, I, every time I... Well, Stargazer. Surrender. Stargazer Lily is asking you to surrender to the unconditional love flowing toward you from the universe. Let down the barriers surrounding your heart and surrender unloving thoughts about yourself and allow yourself to receive. You are always enough. I don't know if maybe you guys don't think you're deserving of this or whatever, but you do have some blessings coming down, but there are some things that need to be fixed. Because if I look a little too hard, I could see, you know, I could see some messiness, but you just want to clean it up to get to whatever your goal is here. It looks like, I don't know if you guys are trying to reconcile with somebody. I'm going to say, I feel like this is a reconciliation. I say that because it, this cards, right? The first card that comes up talks about really, if you if you look at it, homecoming, celebrations, reunions. So I feel like some of you guys are separated. I'm actually surprised that didn't come up, but I feel like there's definitely a disconnect where you need to reconnect because it does say that you also gain clarity on the situation, but you also take a stance on who you are. If you guys are single, somebody is going to come in if that's what you want because there's romance in the air, but I also see tons of opportunities. But again, when you look at this, the way it's going, to me, it looks like a graduation from where I was to what I accept to allow it's time for me to take my next step. So whatever that means to you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. All right, guys. I'll see you in a few. Bye.